Movember. It can only mean one thing. I can't grow one, so unfortunately, this is the best I can do. Let me get this thing off and we'll have a chat. So in today's video, guys, I've brought you to this stunning place. I can't think of a better place that's more fitting for this sort of video. Um, it's all about Movember and mental health um, and what, what it means to me, really, um, and my experiences with it. I really hope you enjoy this one, guys, and maybe you can take something away from it that will help you in the future. So the biggest thing I've sort of found with mental health and stuff and the fact that nobody talks about is um, it's kind of like this man up thing of, of if you've got an issue or whatever, um, it's sort of frowned upon the, that for men to chat about it really and, um, and express the problems and stuff. I've got friends that I've spoken to before and you know that they're going through certain things and stuff, but they tend to not sort of open up to you really. But yeah, it's uh, not spoken about enough. Um, obviously, Movember is about other things um, because there's a lot more to it than that. I mean, there's suicide rates in men um, are quite high, um, especially in, in, in a lot of like, uh, like farming, farming communities and stuff. A lot of people that work on their own, I presume. I mean, I work on my own uh, and a lot of my friends do as well. And uh, I think that can be a massive, massive, uh, issue really being on your own and stuff but again referring back to the headphones thing that is is often why i ring people and stuff just so i'm not on my own um a problem shared is a problem halved as they say the thing is as well humans in general we were not built to be solitary in a way were we so I, I recently went on a podcast AE Macintosh's uh, cleaning podcast and I basically said how I am a bit of a solitary animal I mean I must admit I do like my own company um, but at the same time it's good to be around others I mean if you think back thousands of years ago when we were in tribes and things like that I know it's bear with me I know it's a bit of a th far-fetched thing but back then we were we were we were in tribes then we were living together we were sort of um wanting to be around other humans and stuff like that we're not built to be solitary on our own it's we're not used to that um so it's good to be surround yourself with friends family um chat to friends and family about your problems and stuff um more often than not your friends and family have probably been through the same thing uh, i was reading a couple of statistics earlier um just to sort of uh, get an in-depth um, couple of numbers for you, an in-depth view of, of things. Um, and it said that 47% of men don't talk about their problems, um, which is crazy, really. I mean, I feel like I'm quite an open person. I'll chat to anybody and be transparent and genuine if I've had issues and things like that, which I have. Um, and uh, But a lot of blokes won't, and I, or men won't, um, and I don't understand why. Um, I don't know if it's this sort of like manly man up sort of thing, um, not wanting to feel like a failure maybe, not wanting to sort of, uh, you know, show your weaknesses, weakness. You don't want to be seen as weak, do you? Uh, that again, I think that relates back to the old tribal sort of, um, sort of thing and not wanting to come across as weak. Um, but you're not, you're not at all. It, it's so it's so normal to be able to talk to people about your problems and stuff. It's something that should be done more. Um, and, and you shouldn't clam up and, and hold on to problems because all they do is manifest. They get worse and worse and worse. And before you know it, you, you, you're gonna explode at some point. Um, so getting help and talking to people is not something you should be ashamed of at all. Um, I myself, I have been in the past, I'm much better now, uh, but in the past I went for cognitive um, brain, cognitive, CBT, cognitive brain therapy, something like that. Um, it was more group sessions that I went to and then I've also had one-on-one -on -one, um, aeroplane. Yeah, I went for cognitive brain therapy and one-on-one uh, -on -one stuff. Um, didn't really help me, if I'm honest with you. Not that it doesn't, it's not going to help you, because um, I, uh, I went to my GP first and had a chat with them about it. Um, and then, yeah, they sent me for that. It was okay. It gave me sort of a few tools I could use. Um, you learn how to coping mechanisms and stuff like that. Um, but at the same time, it wasn't 
for me, I need to sort myself out. I'm one of them that needs to chat. I need to talk and I need to go. Chloe, my partner, will laugh at this. I go on and on and on and on about things. I don't shut up. Um, but it's my way of dealing with stuff. It's my way of coping. Um, and I'm thankful and lucky I've got a partner that will listen to me and stuff. I mean, bless her. She's been there through through a lot with me and, and dealt with me and some of the silly things I've done. Um, so suicide is the leading cause of uh, death among men aged between 20 and 34. You, you're barely wet behind the ears. You know, I'm, I'm 27, I'm still young. I mean, it's crazy. I've got my whole life ahead of me. One of the sayings um, that my brother told me once, actually, um, which I do think about all the time is, this too shall pass. Uh, I know it sounds a bit Lord of the Rings or Vikings or whatever, but it's true. Um, whatever you're going through now, um, it, will it be important next year? Will it be important next week? Um, There'll be something else, won't they? I mean, look at the media at the moment. One minute it was COVID, then it's this Ukraine war going on, which is terrible um, and shouldn't be happening. Again, stupid man being greedy and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it doesn't, it, it's stuff that, yes, it's happening now, but it won't be happening, hopefully, won't be happening in a year's time. I mean, COVID, for instance, pretty much forgotten about now. I know it goes on and I know it happens still, but yeah, uh, it's it's just a case of it will go um, and, and it, it will be forgotten about and there'll be something else uh, going on. So, and I'm gonna watch this video back as a reference because I'm in a good place in my head at the moment, especially with doing these videos and, excuse me, doing these videos and YouTube and stuff like that. It's, I'm in a good headspace, um, which I feel thankful for, uh, but only down to myself. If I'm honest with you, I'm, I'm the one that's out here doing it um, and doing it for myself. And that is the ma major factor, I think, is help yourself. Um, because no, well, people will try and help you, but you've got to want to be helped as well. You know, you've got to be wanting to, uh, to, to get healthy again, you know, sort yourself out, get healthy again and get healthy in your head. Um, life is very, very short as it is. And it, it, we don't, we shouldn't be, you know, we shouldn't be worrying about the little things and stuff. Yeah, I've wanted to make this sort of video for a while now, just something that comes directly from the heart. Um, and, uh, and, and hopefully a lot of you can relate to this, men or women, I mean, Movember, Growing a, growing a top lip warmer um, for men's health and stuff, that's great. But what about women? You know, mental health, it happens a lot um, with women as well. So uh, I know Movember is not just about mental health, it's, it's suicide rates, um, physical health as well. I can't really relate to that if I'm honest with you. I'm touch wood, I'm okay. Um, and I hope everybody else is okay as well. But mental health wise, I've dealt with a lot so I can speak a lot about that um, but yeah just uh, this video has just been a bit of a food for thought really just just sort of um, the month is about thinking about you know people that are suffering and that are suffering in silence as well which which they don't they don't need to be suffering in silence listen guys I do really appreciate uh, you watching my videos that anybody that is anyone supporting me um, liking and subscribing and all that sort of stuff uh, I hope to, like I said, do a few more of these, really, if I can do. Um, but for now, guys, I will let you enjoy this stunning view. I will send that drone up in the air for you to go and enjoy it. So thank you. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Cheers.